we are in downtown Ann Arbor for Smokes Poutinery. This restaurant is incredible. It just opened about a month ago, and I got to introduce you to the owner and the fantastic poutine. Welcome to Smokes. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. We'd love to have you. Come on in, folks. Thank you, and I know you're Murphy. Tell us about this fantastic restaurant. Yes, this is the iconic food source from Canada, making its way south of the border, as they like to call it, coming to the U.S. This is the first one here in Michigan, and we are excited. We are the group that's going to bring poutine to the Midwest, but right now we're in Ann Arbor, Michigan, and we're going to span across the rest of the Michigan area, Detroit, East Lansing, and beyond. But let me tell you about poutine. Poutine. <laughs> It's an iconic food source that they've been eating in Canada for decades. It's fresh cut fries, squeaky cheese curds, and piping hot homemade gravy. And then what we've done starting in 2009 with our founder, Ryan Smokeland, he took that base and added over 30 variations that you can get everything from vegetarian to all types of meats on top of it. So we're excited. Folks are just coming out. They can't believe the taste that's in the box. We call it magic in a box. And we're just bringing some fun to everybody in the Michigan area. And Murphy, this space over here, this is incredible. So let me tell you what's going on. What we have is a food source and a beverage source that combine and make a perfect marriage. So as we talked about, we've got over 30 poutines up there, everything from vegetarian to any type of meat that you want. On the bar, we've got over 40 on tap. A bunch of local favorites because we always want to promote our local areas. We've got something for everything. We've got root beer for the kids. We've got lemonade. We've got juice. We've got water. We've got big cans in there. So it's a college town, but it's also a family environment. So we embrace everybody here having poutine and a drink, and it's a good time. The, the bar is actually called the Beaver Trap Bar. We did our research. We've now made this the Canadian corner. We've got the iconic food source from Canada, the poutine, which is it, it says for itself. But then we went and did the research and we found out that they love the beaver up in Canada because it works so hard and it doesn't make waves and it uses limited resources. So in Michigan they said, study hard, play hard. So we thought the perfect fit would be the beaver that works hard and then comes out and it plays hard. You can see it swimming and having a good time. So you can hear the music poison on right now, nothing but a good time. We want folks to come in, have poutine, have a drink, and have a good time. All right, so let's get back into the kitchen. I know you're gonna show us well, show the magic this here. This is the poutinery, is that's what we call it. And back here is where we make all our magic in a box. We've got our partner here, managing partner here, Joel Northrup. How are you? He's going to be the poutine mix master today. But we've got our fryers. This is where we'd start with. We take fresh cut, never frozen fries. We slice them fresh every day. We drop them. We take them through a blanching process, then a cooling process, then almost a double fry. That makes the potato stay crispy, tender on the inside. So when we put all those toppings on there, it's good all the way to the end of the box. People say, hey, I don't know about that gravy. The gravy is great and the fries don't get soggy. So you can see some of the fries that we're going to use here today. Over here, we've got where we make all of the toppings and the magic. You can go for everything from your vegetarian options to uh, some people like the triple pork, where they got the chipotle pulled pork, they've got the double smoked bacon, and they also <laughs> have the sausage on top. It's magic in the box, as I like to call it. We're going to have some fun here, Coco. We're going to make right, a lot of good poutine today. It. Let's get in here. Joe, let's show them a little bit about what we got going here. All right. Well, here we have our fries that, like, uh, Mr. Murphy said, we've blanched and now we're frying them a second time so they stay crispy. Okay. This is our meal size. We're gonna load it up. Nice, lots of fries, lots of fries yes, here. Yes, they look delicious. They are. Now we're gonna go over here and we're gonna make a traditional. Okay. So the traditional starts with our squeaky cheese curds. Okay. And we like to load it up. Let's get a lot of squeaky <laughs> cheese curds on there. And then yes. it's, next is our piping hot gravy. All right. And we get that in there on all those curds. It's just this magic deliciousness. Look at this. Uh, and there you have the and traditional. This is the traditional. Yes, it's heavy, isn't it? Yes, it is. This is amazing. Now, if you think that's heavy, Coco, <laughs> we're gonna have, we're gonna show you what we do. We got some people coming here and they get the wow size. We're gonna let Joe jump in there. He's gonna make that into a chicken bacon ranch. We got all kinds of great magic right here. All right, chicken bacon ranch, a local it favorite. Huge. It is huge. Wait till you see what we do with it. Nice squeaky cheese curds everywhere. Let's get a little more on there. Yeah. All right, a little piping hot gravy. Piping hot gravy. Look at that. Oh, that's what makes oh. it so delicious right there. Like mom's homemade gravy. <laughs> you can see the steam coming off of it too. Absolutely. It is piping hot. piping hot. Piping hot. Now we're going to do a chicken bacon ranch. So we start okay. with our chicken. 
You got a couple nice heaping spoonfuls on there. Let's get a little more on there. All right. All right. Don't skip around here. We're making magic in there. <laughs> Plenty of food here. And then ranch. Oh. Uh, who doesn't like ranch, right? I'm obsessed with ranch. This is amazing. Yeah. I, I believe it's any way you can get the ranch in you. <laughs> A lot of beautiful ranch and then incredible some double smoked bacon right on top i feel like you make people's dreams come true here. we make it happen <laughs> they feel good nothing but a good time here wow now that's heavy as you were saying look at all of that and you said that's one of your really popular ones here dive in if you want to take a little, little taste of that i know we're still shooting but take a little oh taste of that. i was waiting for you to ask <laughs> She's uh, speechless. She's amazing. Speechless. I've never seen a reporter be speechless, but look, I think we got her for a second there. It's the most routine. That's like incredible. Make it fresh here. That is incredible. And it's just like you said, the fries are still super crisp. The ranch is delicious. I love it. So we want to show you one more I here. love it. Okay, let's so do it. Somebody is probably out just saying, hey, the chicken, the bacon ranch, but I'm a vegetarian. Oh, so right, we're going to have right. Joe slide down here and show you what we do for our vegetarians when they come in. All, All right. right. Our vegetarians, we're going to make a rainbow. Okay. Okay, so let me just set up here. We have a little sour cream that's going to go on this. We have a little sriracha. Who doesn't like sriracha? Yum. All right, so our vegetarian rainbow, of course, we start with the squeaky cheese curds. Okay. But we're going to change it up. We're going to do a veg vegetable uh, gravy. It has oh. um, mushrooms, garlics. It's vegetable-based. We get that all over Sounds those curds. Sounds delicious. All right. And then we go to the guacamole. We go guacamole all the way across. Uh. All right, and then we do a little sour cream. Look at that. And then we do a little sriracha. And then we top it off with a little cheese sauce. Yum. Grab a fork. All right. And order up. Yum, and I feel I love the fact that you thought about that. You know, not everyone eats meat. This is something that they can enjoy as well. All, All right, right let's try it here. Let us know what you think. Mmm. That is really, really, really good. Thank you, thank you. Because you get that sriracha, but then you get the cheese, and you get the gravy, too, that you were telling me about, too. That signature gravy. We've got a couple types wow. of gravy, so we can uh, make sure that folks who don't want a chicken base, which is our traditional, yeah. we've got a vegetarian one, so they can still enjoy that gravy right in there and, and not have to be outside of what they want to do. Coming back to the bar, what we're going to show you here in a little bit is we're getting people to come in here for breakfast now. It used yeah. to just be late-night sensation. So we're going to make a hangover one here pretty soon okay. where it's the eggs, it's got bacon, it's got a little maple syrup on it. But then we pair that with folks coming in having mimosas. Saturdays and Sundays, we do bottomless mimosas for $11. Wow. And I'm talking true bottomless, none of that, oh, two and you're out. It's you can go <laughs> until you can't go anymore. So it's something for everybody. People have been coming in having a great time, and we just want people to come see us. 1300 South University, we're here. Uh, as you can see, it tastes great. It's not like it's something that's just... You know, some frozen fries, fresh cut every day. We've got an egg cooking in here. We're going to get us a, a hangover poutine and look like how we can pair for breakfast. Because, Murphy, right what do you here. think is your favorite? Can you pick a favorite? So I, I don't, I don't want to sound <laughs> cliche. All of them are good. I'm to the point now where I'm creating new mixes. So sometimes I'm taking the, the uh, veggie gravy that's usually just for the veggie, and I'm mixing it, getting another flavor palette with maybe the chicken bacon ranch. So there's a lot of different things going on there. Uh, but one of the reasons why we like that is because we're not stopping at 30. We're going to 40, 50, and beyond. Right now, we're working on a bunch of new breakfasts. We're working on some fan favorites right here. We're going to have a Go Blue coming to fall for football season. Right. We'll unveil what's going to be in that. We're going to do something signature for Detroit. Everybody likes a good Detroit poutine. Stay tuned. All those things are coming. Joe, let's jump in and see if we can All make right. a hangover poutine. So this is hangover. We got the late night entertainment around us. So the bars right. are closing at two. Some people are in the, you know, the, the parties at the house. They're still hanging out to three. Our store doesn't close to 3 a.m. right here in the summer. And, the, and once we get into the fall, it'll be 4 a.m. So folks are caught in between late night. I need to go to sleep. 
and morning I need to go to work. So we came <laughs> up with this hangover poutine, and with the hangover poutine, it's got the eggs, it's got the bacon, it's got the maple syrup, so you can have it to go to sleep or to get your boost to go off to work in the morning. Oh, yum. So we got Joel Let's over here working. Check this out. And once again, we've uh, got the piping hot gravy that's laying on top of those squeaky cheese curds that's laying on top of those golden crispy fries. And then we threw a scrambled egg on there, double smoked bacon, and a little bit of maple syrup. And Coco, dive right in and tell me what you think <laughs> about this breakfast sensation. I am just being spoiled this morning. I feel like this is like a breakfast dream because you get your potatoes, you get your meat, Mmm. <laughs> really, really, really good. Is that really good? It's got all of the breakfast favorites, of course. You've got your syrup, like you said, the egg. It's incredible. Well, it it's incredible how it there, mixes. Coco, it doesn't stop there because <laughs> let me tell you what happened. I come from the east side of Detroit. Yeah. I had some fan favorites. We were close to the Hamtramck border, and I had some folks say, you know what? We like pierogies from Hamtramck, and they've spanned all out to, to uh, uh, Sterling Heights and, and all those areas. I said, you know what? I'm going to get you a pierogi poutine. So we got into the lab, and we came <laughs> up. Joe's going to show us what we're doing here with our pierogi. You're going to love this. Just tell me to check this out. We start once again with the fries, squeaky cheese curds, and a piping hot homemade gravy. And Joe, take it from there. Tell them what we do. All right, after the piping hot gravy, we have two large, fluffy pierogies that we place Ooh. on top <laughs> and let's move down here and after that we go to our caramelized onions we caramelize these every day a little Yum. balsamic brown sugar oh wow and then after that we do a little sour cream who doesn't like sour cream on their pierogies exactly let's get a lot on there <laughs> and then of course our double smoked bacon Yum. You're making everyone's mouths water by just looking at all this food. Here we go. Dive in. You tell me what you think about that. All right. I'm going to. I'm going to hold this so you can really yes. get in there. <laughs> I'm going to hold this for you. You can't be, you can't be nice with it, Coco. You got to just no, pull that. I know. No, you got to pull that pierogi up and just bite it. You got to bite that big fella. <laughs> yes. Come on. That's a big pierogi. We don't skip around mm -hmm. here. <laughs> I gotta help you here. Look, look, you're trying to be too tender with it. Look, watch this. I'm gonna make, bite into that. Just take a good bite. That's a great pierogi right there. Mm. Is that delicious? That potato cheese pierogi is fantastic. That's incredible. Two huge pierogies <laughs> laying on top of that. That's what we do here, Coco. We just want people to come in. We want them to have a good time. Break away from all of the stuff that's holding them down out there. If they had a bad day, yeah. if they need a good start to the day, come in here. You hear the music, nothing but a good time. Let's have some beverages that fit you. Let's have some poutine that fits you. We got folks like Joe, we got a, a customer service staff that just wants to embrace you. Walk in, welcome the smokes. We want people to feel good. We're about food, entertainment, having a good time. That is amazing. Thank you so much, Murphy, this morning. Because as he's saying, it's all about the atmosphere. From the second you walk in the door, you're greeted by amazing people. You have a wide variety of great food as well, and you just got to come down and check it out. Yeah, so we want to make sure that education is out there. People are like, what is this poutine? The base is always those crispy, golden, never frozen, fresh cut fries squeaky cheese curds and that piping hot homemade gravy and then the magic takes off from there however you like it we got some folks that came out here today we're going to give Let's them some poutine them well. and stop talking to me you start talking to them because they're the <laughs> ones that make us stay here let's get some stuff out there joe we'll come over you can start asking us hey we got a good camera for crew here today he wants to know why do you come out this most routine we're gonna have some come over here for you to taste in a minute well i was born in canada so oh. yeah i'm in windsor ontario actually and so like this is kind of reminiscence of home a little bit it reminds me a little bit of my childhood came over here when I was like roughly fifth grade and it's been a while since I had poutine so when I heard they had a poutinery opening up that was just like super exciting for me. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a favorite yet? Ooh, favorite? Um, would probably be like the hidden item, the slaughterhouse. Um, it's just like, it's just huge. There's no words really to describe it. Like, I have, yeah, I have no words for it. It's just amazing. Yeah, yeah it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, dude, we just fired up one. Terrible oh, wow. okay. chicken bacon ranch. We just fired that up. Dive in and tell us what you think. All right, go ahead. You can't be shy like I was. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, you guys go for it first. 
Well, this is the first time I've actually had a sweet pea, so let's see how it Oh, is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're going to be amazed. It was my first time, too. Good. The flavor's good. All right. What do you think for the first time? It's good. It's good. Amazing. Well, as you see, they are enjoying this poutine here. You've got to come down and check it out as well. They are on South University here at the corner of Forest and South University. 1300 South University is the address. It's fantastic here. You've got to come down here, check it out, and have a blast.